referee looks at his watch. Any second now. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, welcome back to All My Bet TV. I'm Tom. I'm Molly. We're talking UEFA Nations League Monday fixtures. Monday. I nearly forgot the day, but it's Monday. Uh, so, if you haven't watched any of these videos before, we do all the research on the games that are upcoming. Wrap them up, send them to you guys. If you look in the description, all the little bullet points of all the research we've done are there. Every single game on Monday. Um, we've also got a WhatsApp channel, um, so we've got enhanced odds on there, so make sure you get involved. So basically, pick and choose what you like from what we've said. Um, don't whack all of them into an ACO and expect it to win. Yeah, we're not that um, good. Yeah. If you like the sound of it, based off what we said, get involved. Put in an ACA maybe. Exactly that. Okay. So, Nations League then. So, first game, one of yours, mate, League A. League A, Group A2. Other people. Um, <laughs> Iceland versus Switzerland. Okay. So, Iceland got thumped 6 0 in the reverse fixture of this in the uh, Nations League. Last oh, summer. that is an absolute drubbing. I mean, the whole point of these leagues is you're meant to be put with teams which are similar yeah. to your standard. Iceland massively overachieved now for the last few years. Yeah. Now they're in the top division. Yeah, and struggles. Ma they're not going to be in there for very long. No. Um, so Iceland also lost their last Nation Leagues game 3-0 to Belgium. So they've conceded 9, scored 0. Yeah. That's not a good start. So they're not doing pretty well. No. Um, Switzerland lost their last friendly yeah. uh, to England, obviously. Yeah. Go on, England. Go on, the uh, boys. 1 0. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, Iceland haven't beaten Sweden in the last seven years. Switzerland. Weeks. Yeah. Switzerland, even. Or probably um, Sweden. Probably as well. Sweden as well. <laughs> uh, haven't beaten Switzerland in the last seven meetings. Switzerland won six. I mean, everything you're telling me is an away win. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the tip is Switzerland to win. Score prediction? 2-0. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, then in Group A4. Ooh, big game. Yeah. Uh, Spain versus England. Come on, the boys. We need, uh, we need a result here. So England are actually ranked above Spain in the world. That's, That's mental. Ridiculous. Spain are ranked ninth. England are sixth. Obviously, because we've got to the World Cup semi-final. But Spain are class. Really easy route. Um, Spain have not lost in 90 minutes since June 2016. <laughs> the one game that they did get knocked out was against Russia in the World Cup. But we was, called it. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was in extra time yeah, as well. Exactly. So. Um, what was it on pens? Pens. Pens. There you go. Uh, they're undefeated in 90 minutes, 26 games. Spain are class. Let's get that right. Uh, they won the reverse fixture 2-1 and smashed Croatia 6-0 in September in their so game. So we did pretty well to only lose 2-1 and didn't yeah. disallow goal as well. In the last minute, which yeah. shouldn't have been disallowed. So there you go, it should have been Desmond. should have been a Desmond, yeah. Uh, England beat Switzerland 1-0 in their last friendly, but had lost three in a row before that. Obviously, World Cup semi-final, third place playoff, and one other. That doesn't count. Nah. Terrible stat. Um, six of their last seven games have seen under 2.5 for England. Um, so I've gone, I think Spain win is realistic. Like, I would love to call an England win, but I don't see us going to Spain and winning. So it's not coming home? It's not coming home. Oh. Uh, maybe at the next Euros <laughs> it might come home, but not in the Nations League. Or if you want to push the boat out a little bit further, Draw half time, Spain full time. I, I like that. Yeah, I think that's um, about. It's going to be. It could under two point five is another way if you wanted to. It's a different game to call. I I I would we'll, love we'll, to call England. Will Gareth um, experiment, Jack and Oli? There's going to be a few players. You can see we've got a few well, random players in the squad, yeah. don't we? I'd like to see. I'd love to see Sancho. Sancho, someone like that. Madison might get his debut. There's a few young players coming through. Um, but I think Spain are going to be too much for England, realistically. Well, we've got Sancho now. We've got Sancho, the boy. So he, he's pulling all sorts of strings in Europe. He is, he is. But it's going to be Spain. <laughs> could, I'm going, could, could be a draw though. I'm going 2-0 Spain. Maybe 1-0. Okay. But I think Spain will nick it. Right. League B. Yep. Group B3. Oh, longest fixture name ever. Yeah. Bosnia. And Herzegovina. And Herzegovina. <laughs> <laughs> versus Northern Ireland. Okay. Uh, so Bosnia unbeaten in six. Bosnia are decent and in good form to be fair. Yes. Uh, they've won four of those including mm. beating Northern Ireland already. Yeah. Away 
last month, yeah. two one. Yeah, Bosnia are solid. Um, Will Grigg. Yeah, he was on fire. He was on fire. Scored the consolation in the 93rd minute. Scores goals for Northern Ireland, yeah. does Mr. Grigg. So if you had both teams to score on that, you would be absolutely laughing. Celebrating in the 93rd minute. Um, Northern Ireland beat Israel. Yeah. Um, but had only won one of eight before that. They're not in great They're form. They're not in great form at all. And you know what you're getting when with Northern Ireland normally. Keep it tight. Yeah. They're solid, well organised. Bosnia have got a bit more quality. Yeah, and they're at home. Yeah. And it's never an easy place to go. Nah. So, with all that in mind, it's pretty simple Bosnia to win. Score prediction? 2 0. And what is it? Bosnia and. Herzegovina. 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 Can't uh, say it. No, you're terrible at pronouncing things and reading. In fact, I can't really read, so there you go. So, well, this is good. We have to read on this. Shrug. So, League C, Group C. Um, Estonia versus Hungary, one of yours, mate. Oh, again? Yeah, mate. Getting still a dry on. mouth. Still on, mate, still on. Hold on. Oh, get it down now. Oh, group C2, this one, C2. C2. Estonia, Hungary. Yes. Hit me. Hit me. Hungary me. have won three of the last four meetings between the two. Okay. Estonia are in bad form. They're winless in five games. They're not great, Estonia. Not great. No. Losing the last four on the bounce. Ooh. Not good form. Not good no. form. Um, they also, look, yeah, including losing both of their Nation League openers. Tight. Lost 1-0 one, one one to Finland, 1-0 to Greece. Both of them just missed out. Hungary won their last one, though. Yeah. They beat Greece 2-1. Good little win for Hungary, that. So... If you use the grease yardstick. We like a little yardstick. We do like a lot yardstick. Yep, grease um, this time. So yeah, Greece obviously, um, was it Hungary beat Greece? Yep. It's only lost to Greece, therefore, Hungry. this should be a Hungary win. Got it. Um, Score? One nil. Yeah, I think, I think it's tight. very tight. One Under 2.5 as well. One nil to Hungary. Yeah, agreed. Then the other two teams in that league, Finland and Greece, oh. Finland 58th in the world, Greece 42nd. Tight game. But Finland have won six of their last eight games. Finland is solid. In form. Yeah. A lot of them won nil. Uh, they've won the last three games to nil against Belarus, Hungary, and Estonia. So Finland are no mugs. Kept six clean sheets in eight games as well. So don't concede that many goals. Greece have only won two of their last seven. Mm. Greece. Considering they won the Euros no, right, in the ridiculous. last 10 whatever years. But they've got three clean sheets in their last six games as well. So I would say under 2.5 is the way to go on this one. It's going to be tight. Mm. Could be 1 0 either way, but I'm swaying towards Finland. They're the 1 0 specialists. Okay. They're like the Burnley of international football, <laughs> Finland. Uh, going 1 0 Finland. Okay. Uh, and then League D, Group D2. Belarus versus Moldova, massive Cracker. game. Uh, the last game that they played was an absolute cracker as well. Drew nil nil. Couple, couple of donuts. A <laughs> couple of double donuts. One for the neutrals, that one. Uh, Belarus have lost one in six in 2018. Uh, lost to Finland, who we're saying are in decent form. Only one was over 2.5 goals. So there's never many goals. Minimal goals. Minimal goals. They beat Slovenia, San Marino, and Azerbaijan. Oh, Everyone beats San, uh, yeah. San Marino. San Marjan. <laughs> San Marjan. Um, Moldova failed to win any of their last 15 games. No, they Moldova are struggling. And they've lost 10 of those. Nine of them were under 2.5. Minimal. The only way to go, Belarus win, you're probably not going to get that great odds. Belarus and under 2.5. Probably a little bit better. Happen, yeah. Little one nil win for Belarus, we reckon. Good. Final game. Final one. Luxembourg versus San Marino. Oh, in years gone by, this I would have thought this was two of the lowest ranked teams in the world. Not but really Luxembourg not. are flying. Yeah, doing all right. So the last two times, uh, the last yeah, last time these two met, yeah, the reverse fixture. Luxembourg won three nil. Luxembourg are decent. They made light work. Yeah. Um, San Marino <laughs> are really poo. That is that is actually one of the bullet points. That's what it says. Yeah, I mean, San Marino, I don't know the population, but it'll be about 20 or 30,000. 33, I think. 33, yeah. there you go. According to Will Minimal. earlier stat. Oh, okay. I remembered it. Good. Um, San Marino have lost the last five games on the bounce, Ooh. conceding at least 
three in all of them. Yeah, I mean, um, they're tiny. So in total, they've conceded 26 goals in the last five games, oh. and they've only conceded, and they only scored one. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're never going to be an international powerhouse. No. San Marino. But Luxembourg are unbeaten in their last four games. Yeah, okay. They drew with Senegal. Good result. Beat San Marino, obviously. obviously. Uh, beat Moldova and beat Georgia. Georgia are decent. Luxembourg. Drew it, drawing with Senegal, beating yeah. Georgia. And, and they drew with France, France in September uh, last, last September. year in the old qualification. Yeah. So Luxembourg are pretty good. Yeah, we like them. Um, but there's no value in a Luxembourg win because yeah. they're playing San Marino. So yeah. no, you just can't do that. Um, I've gone. I agree with both again. Those. I agree with both the, those. the odds probably aren't great, but no. better. Luxembourg half time, Luxembourg full time. Yeah. Or over 2.5 goals if I you want to push like out over 3.5 goals. Yeah, I Luxembourg to win and over 2.5 maybe. Yeah, um, um, score sc prediction, I think it's going to be a repeat 3 0. Yeah, I like that. And I like Luxembourg. I like Luxembourg. Go on, Luxembourg. Go on, Luxembourg. Um, so that's it for the UEFA Nations League on Monday. Yes, checking the notes. Monday. Uh, make sure you check out all of the other videos covering all the games. Hopefully, a little bit of value in a few of these games. Yes. Make sure you check out the WhatsApp group, subscribe to the channel, give us a little comment, and we'll see you again soon. See you later. See you later. Now then, this is the referee looks at his watch, and his second now.